today we are diving deep into the world of AI avatars that are so realistic, people are making some serious cash with it. Stick around because you're gonna see some AI wizardry in this video. Hey there, fellow nerds, I am your friendly neighborhood computer data scientist turned part time YouTuber part the week. Now, before you ask, I have not started AI only fans. Well, not in the way you think, but in the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna walk you through how I turned my pixel dreams into uncanny reality. We're talking about creating digital AI twins that's more than just a pretty face. So, brace yourselves as we go from organic to binary, from flesh and bones to pixels and algorithms. And guess what? This same AI revolution is revolutionizing social media and platforms like OnlyFans. All right, squad, let's kick off the first phase the heart of this wizardry is a spellbinding algorithm known as Stable Diffusion. More specifically, Stable Diffusion Dreamboot. In layman's term, it's a digital genie turning text wishes into Pictionary dishes. I think I should stop making rhymes. We'll dive into Techno Bubble later, but first let's see this sorcery in the action. So here's the mystical Stable Diffusion code. Let's fire it up. We can summon any image with a few keystrokes. So let's start with something fun. A donkey riding a horse. I know it's not as good as 2007's art, but it's pretty close. Let's try another one. A beautiful Indian cuisine. And there you go. It looks delicious. Now let's type in my name and see what comes up. But hey, that doesn't look like me. It looks really a Maybe my prompt had a hiccup. Let's try something from the internet. I'm gonna go on the internet, get a prompt and try it again. I'm gonna change it to my name. No, still in the uncanny well. Making it jack of all trades, but particularly not adapt for anything. It can create images of rockets and cakes, but not great of any of those. I gotta stop rhyming. But fear not, we have a secret arsenal. A model that is insanely well trained on human faces and human pose. So without any further ado, we're gonna go to Civit AI and get this model. And then we're gonna try it again. And let's roll out a red carpet for the second attempt. And voila, we have a decent image. But let's be real, every attempt continues to create a different face. And if you're trying to create money by selling your face on the internet, OnlyFans, you won't be able to make a lot of money because your face is changing and it's not gonna work. So what's the solution? Now it's time to get personal. Enter Laura. Laura, think of it as an ant AI that is a life coach, honing on the details until we got the creme de la creme of avatars. With Laura, we are trying this AI to replicate a specific face. Spoiler alert, it's mine and it's going to be fabulous. Witness the Nora method in action. It's like a sculpture meticulously chiseling away until it starts to look like the original data set on which the Lura model was trained. Now, I have to confess that my Lura models are not as great as it can be. And the reason is computational resources. Damn, it is expensive to train on Google Colab. So if you are willing to put in more hours, aka more money, then you can get a better result. And bam, feast your eyes on this masterpiece. We have officially entered the twilight zone of digital doppelgangers that could make your grandma fall in love all over again, or at least make her look twice. Now, let's dive into gears and see how this technical alchemy works. If you are itching to create your own Dora masterpiece, Hustle over to my Patreon, you'll find all the secret code packed in a neat Google Colab so you don't even have to run it on your local computer. You're welcome by the way. Now that we have taken a whimsical ride on AI Avatar Express, let's unmask the magic behind the curtain that makes this spectacular reality. First on the stage is machine learning or ML for the cool kids. Imagine ML as a binary wizard that learns magic from ancient books. It reads over time, it gets better at casting spells without needing a sorcerer's guide. Now, machine learning is a subtle field of artificial intelligence and computer science, focused on design of algorithms that enable computers to learn and interpret data without being explicitly told what to do. ML models improve their performance over time as they are exposed to more and more data. They are empowered in a wide array of applications, but we are going to take a look at one special kind called Stable Diffusion. Transitioning from a broad domain of machine learning to a specific model, Stable Diffusion. It is a deep learning based model that generates images based on text input, making it a powerful tool for creating visual content. Stable Diffusion runs on a diffusion technology and operates efficiently on consumer grade hardware. 
Now, how does it work? Basically, it tries to predict what should be an image look like from a noisy input. So let's say there is this one image. It is quite noisy. Then we iteratively try to remove the noise so that we can get to the original image. But how does stable diffusion knows what is an image of a dog looks like? That's where the mechanism of image to text generation comes into play. Enters clip, constructive language, image pre-training dataset. Emerges as a key player, Clip is a neural network model trained on a variety of images and text pairs, enabling it to understand and associate images with textual description. This cross-model understanding allows Clip to perform tasks such as visual classification, image to text association, and even extracting visual concepts from natural language descriptions. Thus, breaking the gap between textual and visual data in a way that can leverage for creating AI images just based on text. But the final key is LoRa, standing for low rank adaptation, acts as a catalyst in fine tuning stable diffusion models. Remember, we had to train the model to recognize my face so that it can generate my face over and over again. That's right, instead of training the whole model, we can train it in LoRa and then chisel the face and generate an image in such a way that it looks exactly like it. When combined with existing stable diffusion models, LoRa introduces a new concept or theme, thereby enhancing the model's ability to generate or understand those new notions. Moreover, LoRa strikes a commendable balance between the file size and training effectiveness. Instead of training the huge model that's going to take a lot of time, LoRa is a much more efficient approach to retraining. This balance is pivotal as it allows for effective model training without the need for vast computational resources or storage, making LoRa a significant asset in refining stable diffusion models and introducing a new creative realm without hefty computational price tag. And that's why I trained a LoRa model instead of retraining the whole model because I'm broke. And there we have it, the magic of AI brought to life. If you are hungry for more tech adventures, feel free to explore around my channel. I've worked really hard to make 36 videos for you guys. And if you want to get more up-to-date AI news, subscribe to my newsletter. Your engagement fuels this digital exploration. So I'm excited for what we are going to discover together. See you in the next video.